Ciao. Ciao, ciao, bene. Welcome to Drag Race Italia Reference Check. My name is Maurizio and I try my best at explaining the references from each episode of Drag Race Italia if you don't speak Italian or you don't know much about Italian culture. Today we talk about episode 3, the musical dedicated to Paola and Chiara and also the runway inspired to Viva e l'Amor. Before getting to the references, remember to subscribe to my channel if you like these videos and if you like my content. With no further ado, let's check these references. Since this episode was dedicated to Paola and Chiara, let's quickly talk about them. Paola and Chiara are the best-selling female Italian duo with over 35 million records sold. They've not only shaped the Italian music scene, but also become cultural icons. Their journey began as backup vocalists for the Italian band 883, but in 1997 they embarked on a solo career as Paola and Chiara, winning the new artist category at the Sanremo Festival, the most important song contest in Italy. Soon after, they released their first album, Ci Chiamano Bambine. They have since released several studio albums, such as Television, Festival, Mille Luci, and compilation albums, the most recent being Per Sempre. On the 8th July 2013, the sisters decided to split to pursue solo careers. They eventually reunited at the end of 2022 and participated in the Sanremo Festival in 2023 with the song Furore. Paola and Chiara have been vocal advocates for LGBTQIA rights, supporting the first Pride in Rome in 1994. In a country where these conversations were once considered taboo, the duo fearlessly used their platform to promote acceptance and equality. I think it would be a good idea to start with all the references related to Paola and Chiara. A proposito di bambine, venivano chiamate così anche le regine del mondo delle sette note a cui abbiamo deciso di dedicare questa puntata. Apriamo il parco di luce allora. Io mi esibivo in doccia davanti a una platea di bagno schiuma cantando Apri un varco di luce. Apri un varco di luce sui miei occhi risvegliami. Dimenticavo, a modo mio. Questo brano, Paola lo sa bene, è a modo mio. A modo mio saprò volare. Autorizzo a fare furore. Musical, il vostro che promette già furore. Insieme in questa notte di sole balliamo e cantiamo con tanto furore. In questa notte di sole. Furore. Quella che mi ricordo di più è. Ah, dammi l'estasi con in orbita Kama Sutra E poi col barco bello aperto Via di Kama Sutra Le nostre ragazze in passerella impegnate in una sfilata a tema Viva e l'amor! Viva Moige, the Italian non-profit Movimento Italiano Genitori, is dedicated to safeguarding children from pedophilia, bullying and 
violent or vulgar TV programs. Despite claiming to be non-partisan and non-denominational, they face criticism for perceived proximity to Catholic organizations and attempts to censor content with queer themes. In 2005, they called for the censorship of Paola and Chiara's greatest hits album and DVD for those under 14, citing concerns about the music video Kama Sutra featuring sadomasochistic and erotic imagery. <laughs> Now, let's move on to the rest of the references in this episode. Buongiorno pescheria! Con affetto e con amor! Erba di gigiolo! Con affetto e simpatia! Buongiorno pescheria! Vetrilia, tu devi stare solo tranquilla. Vetrilia, vetrilia, vetrilia. Eh. Che cos'è? Per pulire il pesce o no? Vetrilia. Competizione qua? Non ce n'è. Non ce n'è competizione. Non ce n'è, non c'è niente. Non ce n'è Covid, non ce n'è Covid. Non c'è niente. C'è un uccello addosso oggi. In Italian, the word uccello, bird, is slang for male genitalia. And you can also say pesce, fish, for male genitalia. That is a marvelous idea. What's a marvelous idea? Wait. Nobody puts baby in a corner. The verb battere in Italian can be used in reference to your heart to define your heart beating, but it can also be used in reference to prostitutes to define their job. In Italian we have the expression battere la strada, to beat the road. Lightning Aurora! In Italian, to have horns, avere le corna, is an expression to define someone who's been cheated on. La Prada porta in scena Ermenegilda Regina Bassett, mia nonna, che è il mio angelo custode. Visi di gnoto amore. Ragazzi, sta cantando la traviata. Quell'amor delizia il cuore. Brava. Mi sono aspirata all'amore Pisic, una statua veramente molto conosciuta in tutto il mondo. Mi sento la dea dell'amore. Ragazze Pandoro o Panettone? Tutte e due, direi. I guess this is the Italian version of using the term cakes to describe someone's their year. Panettone and Pandoro are two Christmas cakes. <laughs> La reference del mio look è Amor Sacro e Amor Profano, che è un dipinto del 1515 di Tiziano e ho deciso di rivisitarlo in una chiave un po' Jean-Paul Gaultier. Per questa runaway mi sono ispirato al genio stilistico di Jean-Paul Gaultier per esprimere il concetto di amore, sesso e sensualità. Desiria! La cappellaia matta! La mia runway è... Il demone dell'amore, io porto in scena. Ma di Safusco senza la spaccata! Ah! La spaccata. Scusa, a, a chi? Uh! Lisa? Scusate. Mi sono fatta male. Ho dovuto portare in scena quello che è la mia rappresentazione della mitologia greca di Cupido, un dio dell'amore. Fresco, sexy e sbarazzino. La panna è impazzita. La panna è impazzita literally translates to the cream has gone crazy in English. But this is what happens when you overbeat or overwhisk your cream. So in Italian, la panna è impazzita is an expression that can be used also metaphorically to convey the idea that something unexpected or unusual has happened. Come me, ah! And that's it, the references from episode 3 of Drag Race Italia. Thank you so much for watching my video, and again, 
If you liked it, subscribe to my channel. If I missed any references, as always, please write them down in the comment section so everyone can benefit from your comment. Remember that I also collaborate with Hello Queens, the Italian Ru podcast with my friends Nikki and Eo, and they review the episode, they interview current and past contestants of Drag Race Italia, as well as the judges of Drag Race Italia. Please check them out, the link is in the description of this video. There are also so many other content creators who are passionate about Drag Race Italia. I'll leave the links to some of my favorites in the description of this video as well. Grazie mille for watching this video and I'll see you next week with more references. Ciao! Cool.